Hello, this is Angelia with today's wisdom. Today's wisdom comes from Daily Ohm, as good as your word, promises. Ever since human beings could speak to one another, they have been making promises and keeping them or not keeping them. And people notice when you don't. Um, you know, uh, promises are something that are supposed to be kept. If you're not going to keep the promise, don't make the promise. Those who keep their promises are regarded as people of integrity, while those who don't keep their promises are regarded as people who can, at best, can be taken seriously and, at worst, can't be trusted. Um, and that's something, you know, that uh, I used to talk with, uh, you know, on, on couples. Um, and, uh, you know, if you promise something and you don't keep your promise, people will start to not trust you. Um, it's better to say, I'll do my best, but I can't promise that that's going to happen because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, it's better to do that than to promise you're going to do something or be somewhere um, and then something comes up and you can't be. <clears throat> Sometimes we forget how powerful our words are and we use them haphazardly or unconsciously, creating expectations that are never fulfilled. Um, and that's the problem with disappointments. Um, it's really your expectations of what's going to happen. Um, your expectations is what lets you down. Uh, the event itself is either favorable or unfavorable, but it's your expectations and your reactions, um, that make things a big deal for you. <laughs> Leaving disappointment and distrust in our wake. Um, so like I say, it's better to, you know, be non-committal, but say I am interested, um, but I can't promise I could do that because, you know, I don't know what might come up. I got a lot going on. It's better to do that than to promise someone something um, and then let it fall through because then people are like, oh, well, she promised me she would do that and then it didn't happen. So now I don't know if I can trust her because um, that's what you show people. <laughs> On an even deeper level, there are promises we may have made to ourselves that we don't remember because they have slipped into our unconscious. Um, and we do that. You know, we mean well and we're going to do this and that and then we move on to other things and, you know, things happen in life and we don't get to do the things we, you know, promised ourselves we would or would never do. <laughs> An early heartache may have been followed by a promise never to trust love again. Now, I'm sure we've all done that, you know. Um, I think I was 12 when I had my first heartbreak. <laughs> but, you know, despite my, I'm never going to love again, I'm going to go be a nun, and yeah. Um, the next guy I fell in love with kind of threw that out the window, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, gosh. Without realizing it, we may be fulfilling that promise and wondering why our love life looks so grim. Um, because you can't have love unless you're open to love. Um, and you need to love yourself before you can fully love others. So, if you don't, that's something you need to work on. <clears throat> At an even deeper level, many people who recall past lives become aware that they made a promise lifetimes ago that they are still keeping. Um, if you believe in that sort of thing. You know, there are different schools of thought that you're reincarnated over and over until some end comes. Um, there are people who believe um, if you commit suicide, um, then you're reincarnated because you're not allowed to opt out. <laughs> of earth school um so there's different schools of thought on that and then there's some people who don't believe in any reincarnation at all for example a vow of poverty taken in a lifetime as a monk may be holding someone back from fulfilling his earning potential now uh, upon realizing that we have made a promise we no longer wish to be beholden to we can perform a ritual of requesting release from that bond in doing so we clear ourselves of outmoded connections and patterns, returning ourselves to a clean slate. Um, and, you know, I've done that with um, coaching clients. You know, um, when they were young, they made these decisions to keep themselves safe. 
um, and they don't serve them as they get older. Um, so you can actually take your hands like a cup. You can speak the thing into your hands that you promised. Um, and then you can hold it and you can say, you no longer serve me. And I don't need you in my life anymore. Thank you for keeping me safe um, as often as you did, as you did in the past. But now I want you to fly free and go away from me. And you open it up. And you brush it away. So you can do that. <coughs> your choices are your choices. <clears throat> In doing so, we clear ourselves of outmoded connections and patterns, returning ourselves to a clean slate. Then we can resolve to remember that our word is sacred and to be very conscious of any promises we make ourse to ourselves or to others. Because like I say, a promise, you know, it's better to not make one if you aren't sure you can keep it. We may ask to be released from any promises made to ourselves or others in our present, past, or future lives, consciously or unconsciously, that are holding us back from fulfilling our greatest good. Um, and you can, you know, pray about that and say, Lord, if there's anything, you know, that's holding me back, um, remove it from my path, you know, so that I can move forward. Oh, my. We may ask that love, light, and healing be sent to any souls who have suffered from our inability to be true to our word, including ourselves. Because there have been people that we've hurt unintentionally in life. Um, there was someone I went to school with and um, I didn't know, you know, I said something to them in passing. It wasn't, to me, a big deal. It didn't mean anything. It was they said something, so I said something and walked on down the hall. Um, well, and then years later, they came to me, or at me, really, um, at an event and said, you said this to me, and this hurt me so bad, and I felt so bad. And I was like, oh, wow. Um, because, honestly, I didn't remember it that way. I remembered that they kind of said something nasty to me, so... Being an immature person in school, I said something nasty to them back. Um, and, you know, I didn't feel like I did anything over the top. Because <laughs> I felt like what they said was over the top. But <laughs> evidently it impacted them um, to the point that it stuck with them. So I did apologize to them say, I meant you no harm. I just, you said this, so I said this. I do remember the incident. Um, and then they were like, oh, yeah, I forgot that, you know, I had even said that to you. Um, and it was about a guy, of course. <laughs> and um, so then we became more friendly. Um, we worked at the same place, but then she went her way, I went my way, and then we don't talk anymore. But you never know how you impact someone with your words. So choose them carefully. <clears throat> We can ask for the wisdom to do our best and from this point forward to be true to our word, promising only what we truly intend to deliver. And like I said, even uh, there's the saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Even our best intentions, sometimes we can't fulfill. Um, and then that's when you say, hey, I meant to do this. I couldn't do it. Here's the deal. I had to do that at one of my workplaces. Um... The boss was wanting to save some money <laughs> and wanted to know if I could do this thing. Well, I went on the information I had um, and I ended up making a mistake because the information I had was not correct. Um, so then we had to go back and fix that and everything. So, you know, her intention was to save money. My intention was to save her money and do a good job, but it didn't work out that way. So <laughs> sometimes... Even though we intend to deliver a good thing, it doesn't work out. The resulting clear conscience and liberated energy will illustrate this truth. We are only as good as our word. Um, so, you're only as good as your word. So, don't make promises if you don't know that you can keep them. 
And in all honesty, you don't know that you can keep them. Um, now, you know, there's things like your marriage vows that, you know, you have to say um, if you're getting married. And, you know, there's things you might promise people when you're in love and things like that. And you should try to keep them. Um, but in general, it's better not to make promises. Um, it's better to say, I'll do my best to do that. Um, now, when it comes to like secrets, if someone tells you something and they say, please don't tell anyone, I don't want anyone to know, you can say, I promise on that one. And you should um, keep your word because there's a lot of people out there who are gossipy, backbitey, and nasty people. <laughs> and you don't want to be one of those people. Uh, so think about it. Until next time.